Hi everyone and welcome back to Spiced Plans. Thank you so much for joining me today. This video is actually a request. I decided today to investigate the community tab, which I have not used very much since I started the channel. And I asked for requests. And this was the one that I have gotten the most of so far. And the rest of them, I promise you, I will get to them. So this video is going to be an explanation of how I use my wellness planner. The last video, maybe not the last one, but a couple videos ago, I showed you how I set up my wellness planner. And I can see why a couple of you would want to know what do I do with my wellness planner. So I will explain it to you. Let's start with the monthly. Now this is the one that I have not written in yet. My wellness planner does have a tendency to get a little bit personal. So I decided to just use this blank wellness planner for now and kind of just show you what I put where um, and stuff like that. So on the monthly, what I keep on the monthly is stuff like how many hours did I fast today? I do intermittent fasting and that really seems to work for me and my health. So what I write down every day is how many hours did I fast? Also, if I am remembering every day to wear my Apple Watch, I will write down how many steps I had that day. And since we've been staying home, I have not been as good about keeping up with my steps. But that is what I keep on the monthly. Now the dashboard. The dashboard is where I keep up with habit tracking and goals for the month. So I track things like, did I shower every day? Um, you know, did I do my morning routine? Did I do my evening routine? That kind of stuff, like how many days per month did I get that done? That kind of stuff goes down here. If you would like to see a video where I set up this page, I am happy to do that as well. So I also put on their monthly goals as far as like weight loss and movement and things like that. Um, and that is what I would choose to put here. And then over here, I usually put sort of like a before and after shot, like progress pictures, measurements, things like that. I like to keep up with that on this page. So moving on to the vertical. I was very heavily influenced by a video that I saw. It was a TED Talk by a cool guy named Sean Aker. And I will link his TED Talk below this video so that you can watch it if you want to. But he wrote a book about happiness. And he said that there are several different ways to sort of change your brain chemistry so that you will be an inherently happier person. And one of those ways is to write down three things every day that you're grateful for. So I have always, ever since I started doing that challenge, used a vertical layout for that purpose. I've been in happy planners, I've been in all kinds of different brands, but when I saw the Erin Condren flower power, I said, I want a flower power for my gratitude this year. So when July comes, I will be keeping my gratitude just like this in a vertical spread. So if you've ever seen me plan, then you know that when I plan my verticals, I just leave room to write down gratitude. So now this page is tabbed to the horizontal layout section of the planner. And this goes back to the TED Talk as well. One of the other things that you can do to train your brain to be happier is to write down a detailed description every day of one event that happened that day that made you happy. So that is what I write down here in the horizontal section of the planner. So every single day, I think of one event in the day where I felt happy, and then I write a detailed description of that event. And I have found that doing this over and over and over for months at a time, 
It really does work and changes the way that you think about life and the way that you think about things. So I have this planner set up to do this for three months. And then behind there, if you watched the setup video, then you know I have nothing but blank pages back here. And this, to be honest with you, is genuinely just a journal. And when I say a journal, I mean any time that I am feeling any kind of way, any time that I feel like I have anything that I need to get off my chest or talk about or whatever, I just get out my journal and I write about it. And this is something that my therapist suggested that I do. Um, I suffer from kind of severe clinical depression with kind of a sprinkling of anxiety. And I drive my family crazy with my questioning things and being anxious about stuff and just all kinds of emotional, mental kinds of things. So I have found that if I write about those things in my journal, instead of, you know, having to have some big long discussion with my husband or my friends or my mom or something like that, that it's better for me to just write it. So I started this a couple months ago and it's really working out for me. So that is what I have in the back of the wellness planner. And that is it. That is what I have in here. So I will link the TED talk for you um, when I upload this video. And I promise you I will get to some of those other requests. But thank you for requesting this. I hope that this was helpful for you. Um, maybe kind of gave you an idea of some things that you can put in a planner if you, you know, are kind of struggling with coming up with stuff to put in your planner right now. But that is what I put in this particular planner. It does not travel with me unless I'm going out of town. Uh, my wellness planner stays at home and it's part of my evening routine to write in my wellness planner every night. But I have found that during this like stay at home time, I have a bag, I have a planner bag that I keep with me all the time and I just put this and my catch all classic size Erin Condren in the planner bag and just kind of haul everything around the house with me all day with my pens and stickers and stuff like that. So who knows what things will look like when regular life returns, but right now I am carrying this from room to room and I am writing in my journal um, almost all day. So anyway, that is what I put in my wellness planner. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And remember, if you have any requests, you can go ahead and send them in under this video or on the community tab if you see where I ask for requests. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I enjoy your planner.